But uh, right good now, yeah. we've got Doorstop and Andrew T. This should be a really exciting match. We're going to have Ness and either Trainer or Zero Suit. I'm not 100% sure. Kind of want to, uh, yeah, we're going to see Zero Suit, yeah. Yep, and I mean, so far for Doorstop at least, uh, all Zero Suit this entire top eight. So I, I don't see a reason why to switch off. Yeah. Um, I mean, we might see the Trainer though. Now, what I'm excited about in this match is, again, two super flashy players with lots of, like, really unique combos. So I'm really excited to see where we're going to get going here. Okay. Oh, very good lingering option here. The Plasma Whip really coming through here for Doorstop. And the Nair Flip Kick. That is your life. Zero to death to start off. Son. Just lose your seconds. Son! What was <laughs> Son! That was ridiculous. Yeah, so that's good. the scary thing about this character. Like, she still has all of her, like, crazy ladders, but, like, you can't be at the ledge. Yeah. With that neutral air, it's just it leads to so much. And then the move itself is not only enormous, but like it's safe to just throw it out at max range. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's so scary to just be on the ledge. Period. You know, like almost you get your again. ledge jump or normal got up, like just covered. That, oh man, air see, dodge! You see that running down tilt to keep the off stage pressure going? That's yeah, super smart by doorstop. Yeah, it was so so clean. There's a double jump landing with the aerials, very safe coming out from Andrew. But the plasma whip with the range, man, been uh, definitely showing to be. A real troublesome move for Andrew to deal with. Definitely, yeah, being wholly outranged right now. Like, I know he can kind of fire back a little bit with PK Fire, but he's had no no chance to set up any momentum. He's just been getting juggled relentlessly. Tech, okay. Andrew not going to pull the trigger on the back air just yet. Yeah, and I, I like not only did uh, he, he recognize that he was, like, a little bit off the mark and just wanted to, like, wait it out, and Doorstop decided to just, like, crawl to make it even harder from land one of those aerials. Look at that safe range. There's the PK fire. Andrew trying to get something started, but I just feel like the range issue is just such a problem. Can you see Don't die from up throw. This? Okay, yeah. You should definitely, like, so much people think up throw is a kill throw, but it's, like, actually kind of not. Wow, I'm actually surprised FTO didn't kill him. But only because of the position. Oh, oh no. no. You had to uh, be there, Andrew. Putting a little bit too much faith on that uh, directional air dodge. I think what he's afraid of is that like we've seen so many Zero Suit Samus's specifically like just kill Ness at like nothing Ooh, with air. Ooh, that was so clean. Crossed up with the up air right into the back throw. Really smart, but again, the Diaki doorstop is really good. Oh yeah, for sure. Ooh, the Shopping boost there oh. again! Dang. A three stock from doorstop. It was really convincing. Man. What a tongue twister. Three that stop from doorstop. Three stop from doorstop. I got bars today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what was that, what was that earlier? Uh, Back before Tweak peaked and became Peak Tweak or whatever. Yo, <laughs> Migos, if y'all need a fourth, I am available. I'm just saying. I got one of your shirts on right now. Nice. <laughs> can do nice. this. Uh, also, uh, Cardi's cool. Anyway. Nice, nice. Oh, so, uh, yeah. That was a really, really uh, rough game for Andrew T. It and all started with that conversion that Doorstop did. It was like something into the uh, kind of like boost forward tilt that set up for that situation. That's so, so clean. Ooh, now we're getting the ditto. The di oh, oh. Ooh, this should be right. exciting. All right. I like this. And uh, as we saw, Andrew T's Zero Suit Samus played amazingly earlier. Yes. And, you know, we can even see the Yomi, that, like, if uh, Andrew T wins this game, we can see Doorstop go to Trainer against Zero Suit. So who knows? This is going to be fun, though. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, maybe got a little bit envious. Maybe after those Nair flip kicks, he's like, bro, I can do that, too. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't special. <laughs> Me, too. Like, maybe that's the thought process. I'm not yeah. sure. Kind of like just giving them uh, fight fire with fire. Right, exactly. Give them a taste of the, their own medicine kind of thing. Exactly. Exactly. And it's uh, already so far way more even because these are the percents that Andrew was dying to at the beginning. Oh, yeah, for sure. First and third stock. Oh, Ooh. there's a plasma whip, though. Smart catch. Oh, Whoa. man, that down smash almost connected. I'm very surprised he didn't get hit by the flip kick. Yeah, me too. That move has always been, like, really inconsistent for me. Like, I never really – you can never fully tell when it is and isn't going to connect. And, like, she's right. just dragging her body all around you. It's just – I don't know. It feels almost like random, like when it does happen. Oh, the punish coming out from doorstop, though. And yeah, Andrew kind of like betting it all on that up B, but especially zero suit. The uh, the up B is so much more consistent in this game. So punishing up B with up B is uh, pretty deadly. Yeah, honestly, like she might still ladder you off the top, but you're not gonna die at like two. Yeah. You know, like in Smash Four. So I, I like this version of that move a lot better. I think they did a pretty good job of getting rid of most of that. Now the only moves that do that are like kind of peach up B and like Samus up smash sometimes, but it's definitely a lot more balanced this time around. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, the pop-up, though. Big damage. Wow. Three to four up airs there coming out for doorstop. And the Nair into the back air. We couldn't uh, get the flip kick. Ooh. And the optimization to land back on the platform, too, for uh, more up airs, knowing that the ladder wasn't going to kill. Doorstop is playing really well. And the F smash. Oh, man. Ooh. And I wonder, are we are we going to see a second three stop? That, that would be kind of devastating, mm. man. And loser semis? I, I don't know. Yeah, that, that, that sure could be a thing. It's looking like it. Oh, great DI coming out, falling right out of that uh, up smash. 
And I, I did see Andrew attempting to smash the eye out of some of the uh, previous up smashes as well. So definitely showing that it's still possible. Bro, doorstop is all over this man right now. This is nutty. Yeah, he got to fire back. Oh, oh no, whiffs the boost no, kick. No, he didn't get the punish. He could have gone for a boost kick. Yeah, or even a, a, yeah, another flip kick in air. Or an air flip kick. Oh, down air. There you go. Okay, okay. Trying to get himself on the board. Really just doesn't want to get double three side. I'm confident. Oh, there's the forward air. Is he going to get the cherry on top? No, the ledge trap will get thwarted by that get up attack, though. Okay, this is going to be an out of shield punish with the up B. So Andrew T does not have to eat a double three stock. There's a little bit of a chance here, but Bordor Stop coming back from the Angel platform getting a bunch of extra damage already. Now, how are you going to make it back to the stage? Again, he's going to flip kick. Yeah. And I kind of feel like Dorstop is going to start putting that in his playbook. Oh, is he going to take an early stock? No, not just yet. That yeah. would have been really nice. It could have shifted all the momentum back for him. Yeah, and I mean, I definitely appreciate the fact that he went for it. You, at this point, if you're Andrew, you have to make plays happen. Right, you have to. Another grab, the jab, okay. Hmm. Another grab release. I mean, you, you do have a frame one jab. Maybe didn't want to like take the chance of like whipping the punish, but it, uh, it, the percent that Andrew's at, you kind of got to go for something sometimes. Yeah, and right now Andrew's sitting at 125. Got to pretty much watch out for a lot of doorstop options right now. Plasma whip. Doorstop opting to run away, just saying, like, if you want to get this confirmed, I'm going to force you to work for it. You're going to have to chase me down. Not going to roll in or down smash, which was the, you know, instrument of his destruction in the previous talk, too. So it's oh, kind of more like a, it's kind of almost like salt in the wound, knowing that it worked for doorstop and didn't for Andrew. Oh, but right there, doorstop with a solid two stock. Now, uh, speaking of two stocks, also a 2 0 lead. Here for doorstop, and uh, I don't know how dig or deep in the pockets Andrew's gonna have to dig here. Yeah, I don't know, man, because uh, the nest and his his nest is his nest is so good, but doorstop just made that matchup look like really hard. Like he never got anything started. He was just being outranged the entire time, and then even running the ditto, he got a little bit closer. But doorstop was just so aware of all of Andrew's decisions. He's yeah. like doing a really really good job of reading him. That's what the problem is here. Yeah, and it looks like we're gonna go back to the nest. For, for me personally, I like to preach, like, when in doubt, you can always just go with your comfort. And yeah. then even if, like, you get bodied playing your comfort, like, you might as well get the experience on, like, the character you're the most comfortable with, right? Right, like, right. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, when when you're in a tight situation, you just you should always just go with what you're comfortable exactly. with. Exactly. Uh, this counter pick is Smashville. Uh, I think Andrew's been taking people here all day. I, I still think... Even though it's not the smash that it was, thank goodness, considering how good Ness is right now. Oh, uh, yeah. He still gets a lot out of this. But so does Zero Suit with his mono platform. And, okay. That's smart of him. He's not overextending Ooh. looking for the ladder. He's just going to keep tracking him with those up airs. Yeah, one thing I love to see in this game, even though Waveland has a little bit of lag, if you Waveland to someone and they committed to a move, you're pretty much doing, like, an intangible dash into them. Exactly. So you can, like, Waveland and they, like, Ooh. swung a move and you punish. It's so nice. He almost got that edge guard though with the down smash. That was very, very close. Yeah, almost did. Uh, literally even right now, force him off stage. Let's see how he makes it back. Uh, Zero Suit Samus can do so much to Ness, as we're seeing. Wow! Wow, that's crazy! So not only did he wait, knew when he was gonna pop out and had the angle cover with that flip kick, Andrew T even had the presence of mind to tech it, but teching away from the wall, putting him in the same position. That is so unfortunate for Andrew T. Oh yeah, and amazing timing from Doorstop. He knew that uh, Andrew wanted the directional air dodge to the ledge, waited accordingly, timed it very, very well, and got that down smash, man. Ooh, and there to flip kick, not gonna come through this time, a little bit off the mark, and he air dodges, trying to make it through the yo-yo, but he doesn't have enough drift. Uh, Andrew T gets himself back on the board, taking that second stop. Sorry, door stop. Your air dodge ain't as good as Ness's. No one's in, man. <laughs> it's wild. Oh, it's yo, up tilt strings? Yo, fox combos? Yeah, it's like a jump and a half. <laughs> okay, fair. Tried to catch the landing with the PK fire. Doorstop gonna bust out the shield just in time, but comes back in with that PK fire. Ooh, again, mixing him up with these magnets midair. Andrew yeah. T is so good about confusing his opponent. And he's he's really, he's not getting these PK thunders too, but he's not far off the mark either. Oh man, that was so clean. The Nair from like center stage, because Andrew T DI'd out, the back air was able to follow for doorstop. Yeah. And we're on Smashville too. Exactly, sick conversion for him. Whoa. Yeah, the, the, if you hold uh, side B, there's actually a hitbox that comes uh, comes out when you're bringing it back, and it actually is kind of like an anti-air hitbox. That, that pops so, you up. That is so smart. Yeah, really good. Ooh, barely gonna live off the side. Andrew, can Andrew seal out the second stock? This, this game is so much closer it's, than the first it's game. It's so close right now, right? And literally, like any like drag down fair, nair out of shield or anything, is gonna lead to that back row. Yep. And Andrew T, even things back up, only down 30%. But Ness combo, Ness's combo game is so strong. Um, 
definitely just get even closer. That's the scary thing about Ness in this game, too. Ooh. Like, you have drag down things that, like, drag down setups that combo into your back throw. Like, oh, you have things that combo into back throw. Why? Right, exa <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, thankfully, they nerfed it, like, slightly in this game, but it's it's literally, like, maybe 10, 15% later. It's so insignificant overall. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh. catching the landing. Big damage here for Andrew, and just like that, turning it around. Gorgeous combo to follow that up from PK Fire with a, a raw back air of all things. Oh, gets the charge. Ooh, look what at that do? shield pressure. Back out of shield. Okay. What's going to be the edge guard oh. here? Oh. He did side B, but it didn't snap to the ledge. <laughs> Oreo's like, like, what? Really weird spot. <laughs> look at Oreo's face. Look yeah, at Oreo's face. Like, like, huh? like, what? The way? <laughs> what happened to the. <laughs> like, he literally. I read his lips. He said, what happened? What happened? I don't know. I uh, mean, if you're Andrew, though, you got to take it, man. Andrew's like, bet. I don't yeah. care anymore. <laughs> like, especially after that first game. He's like, you know what? Good. It's what she deserves. Yeah, and I mean, I like that Andrew went back to the comfort pick for him, you know, just being a nest main himself. And even though you get bodied in one game, like, that was just a game. At, at the end of the day, like, it's just a win or a loss. Right. So it's like, it, it like kind of doesn't matter if you got, like, super bodied or super didn't, and, like, not so bodied those last all last hit. It's kind of just like, what did you, like, what kind of information did you get gain for the next game in the set? I want that everything you just said framed on a plaque. That was so inspirational. <laughs> it's just a win or a loss, man, but what are you really getting out of it? Yeah, exactly. And, I mean, Andrew got all the information he needed and was able to even, like, pull out the win in that game number three. And even if he didn't pull out the win, like, it was so much closer. You could just tell oh, he yeah. was playing the matchup so much better. Exactly. Uh, game four, though, we're going to be on uh, Yoshi's Island. Definitely a comfort pick for yeah. uh, Doorstop with both of his characters. We've seen a lot of – I've seen, sorry, a lot of really crazy stuff with Ivysaur here, but even with Zerosu Samus, again, she's so good on these monoplats. Oh, I don't yeah. even know if there's, like, a stage that she's, like, outright bad on at this point. Like, oh, yeah. Man, Kalos, maybe. I and I know, know Mars also really likes this stage, so. Yeah, I bet. I mean, just the, the wall jump options as well. Oh, zero yeah. Zero suit. Um, Ness not being able to wall jump. So. Oh, he's got no jump. What do you do? He's got no jump. Fighting oh, back. Whoa. I thought he was going to follow up after that tech no wall jump. Yeah, I thought he was too. Back throw? I don't think it should kill, no. It's not going to kill just yet, but it's going to set the offstage pressure up. Might have been Winner's best interest to stay But again, mixing him up hard with that side magnet, floating a little bit, and catching him with that sweet spot back air. Yeah, this, this is where if you're doorstop, you need to halt this Whoa. momentum, and that will do the trick there. DI mix up on that back throw because he, he definitely DI'd in on that back throw, but Andrew just didn't expect the back throw. Right. Ooh, he's getting walled out really hard, which is crazy because, like, Ness's aerials are, like, still really good and really disjointed, but I think Doorstop just, like, he just he just knows, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, great direction air dodge, but Doorstop ready for it this time. Yes, catch him with the Nair again. Not going to go for the ladder, recognizing that he's not close enough to get it. Ooh. But a Nair to Bear, he's getting so much damage. That was that, that, that was pretty cool. Oh, Jesus. man, and the edge guard to follow. Doorstop's got the kicks on deck. What's so crazy is this character is so good about like killing you really early if you're in like certain positions. But even if she can't kill you early, she can still just finish the combo and just get a ton of damage and then even reset the situation further. Because that's yeah. what we've seen from Northtop. He hasn't gone for an up B off the top, uh, if at all, not much, if at all. But he's like, all right, cool. I know I can't get this. I'm going to bait where you're going to land. I'm just going to really track you down. Oh, man. That grab was max, max range. Doorstop is so good in the situation where it's like, up air, up air, like you get your up air strings, but then like you can't like get the ladder anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's like a soft reset. And I feel like that's where Doorstop's really good. These like s little subtle soft reset situations, he knows exactly where to put hitboxes to keep the pressure going. Yes. Ooh, Ooh the drag, drag down, down up there. Drag down the turnaround grab. Yeah. You 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 know Andrew be clean if he gets the, the drag down in a turnaround. Grab. Oh yeah, man's <laughs> clean. Man's out here. Okay, there's the roll. Great but neutral air out of shield to force the pressure. Gonna mix up his recovery using that Beaverse to delay himself a little bit longer. This is one of those things where like the slants can make Yo-Yo even more devastating if Andrew's careful with his spacing. But yeah. that side B is gonna clean it up. Doorstop's gonna take a 3-1 over Andrew T. Yeah, really, really good stuff coming out from Doorstop. Re like I said, you gotta hold the momentum here because Andrew T took that first stock and it was like, that was looking so dangerous because it's a classic like, oh, I had it 3-0. Like, SD game three, right? Right. Now I'm tilted. Oh, he just got the first stock. Then they, like, steamroll you game four, and then, like, they're like, all right, game uh, five. Yeah, time for game five. Like, I got all the momentum. Like, yep, you should have yep, three yep. me, lol. Like, I'm about to win this set. That's like, definitely the movie. Because uh, we saw that happen earlier where I think it was uh, Hive and Monty 